Hi, it's Steve. In this video, we'll talk about some of the reasons why the exhaust fan on your over-the-range microwave isn't functioning properly. We'll look at the components involved, where they're located, and how to check them. Now, the first thing we need to check is the filters. Whether you're using a standard grease-type filter or a charcoal filter, you'll want to ensure that they're clean and not plugged up. With the grease filter, you can simply wash that in warm, soapy water. The charcoal filter, you'll need to replace it. If your over-the-range microwave is vented to the outside and is not functioning properly, you may have a problem with the damper. The damper is located where the microwave meets the outside venting system, so you need to drop the microwave from its mounting position and inspect it. Look for signs of damage or warping, or also a broken spring on that damper assembly. If it's unable to be repaired, you will need to replace it. Now, if your exhaust fan is not working at all, we'll need to inspect it to ensure whether it's the motor or the controls that operate it. You'll need to remove the microwave from its mounting, and then we can inspect that motor. First of all, verify that the motor fan will turn freely. If not, we can assume that it is defective and will need to be replaced. If the fan blade does move freely, we'll next need to check for voltage. This requires a live voltage test, and you'll need to be comfortable in doing that check. If there is no voltage present at that motor, you'll need to go back to the control board and determine whether we have a faulty connection or whether the control board is at fault. Need help with anything else around your home? Search our channel for thousands of helpful videos that will walk you through your home repairs. For more information or the parts needed for these repairs, don't forget to check out PartSelect.com. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.